Hi guys, my name is Arpit, co-founder of NSDM India. We are a premium digital marketing institute based out of Pune. In this video, I will show you how to create a free Facebook Messenger chatbot without any coding. Before I actually start making a chatbot, let's talk about some statistics regarding Facebook Messenger. As per Business Insider, Facebook Messenger is the third most downloaded app. Facebook Messenger claims a potential audience of over 1.3 billion people. More than 2 billion messages are sent between businesses and people on Messenger every month. With the advent of chatbots and the capability of building a subscriber list within Messenger itself, it is undoubtedly the hottest tool available for marketers to exploit right now. For you guys to have a perspective, Gmail and Facebook Messenger both have 1.2 billion active users. However, Facebook Messenger beats Gmail when it comes to app downloads. Also, Facebook Messenger has way better open rates as compared to email marketing. These stats clearly indicate how important it is for marketers to leverage Facebook Messenger. We all have heard about the supreme importance of building an email list. Similarly, we can build a list in Facebook Messenger wherein you can provide your audience an option of subscribing and if they do, then you can broadcast messages right into their Messenger inbox. You can also set up follow-up messages. The updated Facebook Messenger now has a new tab called Discover. Here you will see some featured bots. Then you see categories like education, entertainment, finance, etc. So what you can do now is create your own chatbot and then submit it to Facebook. Once approved, you will show up in this Discover tab. To really understand chatbots, you need to see one in action. So open Messenger and get into the Discover tab. Under shopping here, you will find Tommy Hilfiger. I interacted with the bot and it's really cool. Try for yourself. Now that you have a fair idea about Facebook Messenger chatbot, let's actually see how to create one without any coding. So there are plenty of tools available through which you can create a chatbot without any coding, like ChatFuel, ManyChats, Botsify, etc. In this video, I will use ChatFuel. So let's go ahead and open their website chatfuel.com and then click on get started for free. It will ask you to log in with your Facebook account. Once you log in, click on create a new bot. Now at first you need to connect your bot with your Facebook page. So click on connect to Facebook. You will be able to see all pages for which you are the admin. Just choose your page, it will get connected with the bot. I will choose Wildwash, it's an e-commerce website selling dog care products. Let's build a chatbot which can help increase their sales. So let's get into automate. This is where the magic happens. This is where we construct our chatbot step by step. You can make really powerful chatbots here. In fact, some of the things that this bot can do almost feels black hat. For example, you can send automated messages to people who reply on any of your Facebook posts. Isn't that really cool? Let me know in the comment section. Before we actually use the tool, let's check out some common use cases for which you can apply this chatbot. Increase sales. You can showcase your products. Payment gateway integration is also available. Customer service. Handle user queries with personalized communication. Book appointments. Get calls. App downloads. Data collection. You can collect user input, build email list, newsletter subscription, send follow-up messages, send emails, chat plugin for website, RSS feed integration, and lots more. By default, we see some cards here. I will delete these default messages so I can better explain you the tool. Under automate, we see welcome message. This is a message that users will see when they first begin the conversation with your bot. Note, returning users will not see this message. Then we have a default message. Now this is a message that will trigger every time your bot does not have an answer for the user query. You can create your welcome and default message by adding these cards. Let's first add a default message. So I add a text card. I didn't quite get that. Then I add a typing card. You can show the typing symbol to the user. You can set the time from here. Then I add another text card saying, I can connect you to a human. 
click to call. Then I add a button for customer service and then click on phone call. Select your country, put in the number. Similarly, I created a button for sales. For welcome message, let's add an image first. So I got this image from Giphy.com. Let's add some text. Hi, I'm a bot on deck for Wild Wash. Now the cool thing here is you can insert user attributes. User attributes are personal tags or labels that get assigned to each user interacting with your bot. User attributes enables bot personalization, advanced flows, subscription to broadcasts and much more in your bot. I will have to make another video to explain you guys the full potential of attributes. For now, you can just know a bot can receive the following information from Facebook. Like first name, last name, gender, time zone, profile picture, etc. Now I will add the typing card. Then let's add a text card giving our users an option to subscribe. So I will write here, would you like to subscribe for exclusive deals and discounts? Yes, please maybe later now we have to make an answer for yes please and maybe later so I will click on add sequence or group and then group I will name the group as onboarding now let's create a block let's name it as yes please since this block will be the answer for the yes please option let's add a text card and write excellent choice how can I help you today now let's give users three options, shop now, blogs and check reviews. Then let's create a blog for maybe later, I add a text card, how can I help you today? And let's give the same options, shop now, blogs and check reviews. Also, we'll create a block here called subscribe and then we will select a plugin for subscription. Now I will go to the welcome message and link these buttons. I will click on yes please and under blocks choose yes please and subscribe. This way the users will get added to the subscription list. Similarly, I'll do maybe later. Now let's complete the remaining options. So I create another group called products and I add a block under it, shop now. And now I choose gallery. Now I can upload the image for the product. Give it a heading, description and URL is optional. Then we will add a button, buy now. Now here under URL, I will paste the website URL from where users can buy this product. The URLs open in the in-app browser on the mobile phones. You also see this buy option here. This is really cool guys. Through this option, you will be able to sell within the messenger. However, this option is only available if you have a Stripe or a PayPal account. For now, I will simply paste the website product details page URL from where people can buy the product. So let me quickly upload all the products. Done. Now let's connect shop now. So I get into yes please blog, click on shop now and select shop now blog. Similarly, I will connect shop now in the maybe later blog. Now let's start working on blogs. So I'll create a new group called content and then a block called blogs. Then I click on the add icon for choosing a plugin 
and select RSS import. So you can integrate your blog with your chatbot. When you post a new blog, it will get updated here automatically. All you need to do is provide a link of your blog feed. For creating a link for a blog feed, we go on Google and write Google Feed Burner. Click on feedburner.google.com. Paste the blog link of your website. Generally, it is your domain.com slash blogs. And then click on next. Again, click on next. Then this is where you can set the feed address. I will let it be wild wash and click on next. Now this is the URL that we need to paste in chat fuel. So let's go ahead and do that. Under subscription title, I will write subscribe to our blog. Users will be able to see this. Then I will check this option of let users subscribe to this RSS feed and allow users to read RSS content right in the bot. You can also decide how many blocks you want to show. Now let's go and connect the blog section. So I get into yes please and then blog and then select blog. I will do the same for maybe later. Now let's move to the last option which is check reviews. So here I'll simply paste their Facebook review links. People will be able to read their reviews. Done. Let's quickly test our bot. We can test the bot by pressing test this chat bot button. However, I want to show you guys the mobile version because it looks better there. So let's see the bot live in action. This at the bottom that you see is the persistent menu. This is how it looks on desktop. I have not explained this because it is really simple. You can set this up through configure section in chat fuel. So let's click restart the bot. So you see the welcome message. Hi Arpita, I'm ball on deck for wild wash. Yes, please. Let's click on shop now. Buy now is working fine. Blogs. It shows the blogs perfectly. also gives the option for subscribing the blog so the bot seems to be working fine now let's talk about how to send follow-up messages to people who interact with your bot for this we will use sequence there's a handy plugin called subscribe to sequence which you can simply place in any block if the user reaches that block you can send them follow-up messages let's look at how to create a sequence click on add sequence or group then choose sequence so here I want to create a sequence wherein if the user visits the shop section so after one day he should get a follow up message. I name the block as shop follow up. Then let's ask our users, hey first name you searched our products recently, did you end up buying? And give them the option of yes and no. Now we will have to create blocks for these options. So I add a new group and name the group as shop follow up. And then add a block called yes. So let's first thanks the user for ordering and then tell them to review us on Facebook. And paste the Facebook page link there people can post reviews. Then let's add a block for no. So if the user says no he has not purchased the product so maybe we can send them something like in case you had trouble buying the product or for any queries feel free to speak with our sales representative then create a call now button and put in the number then I will also like to offer them some discount so I will add a typing card first and then add a text card saying I can also help you with some discount then create a button avail discount now we'll create a block for avail discounts 
saying use coupon code gift to avail 5% off at the time of checkout. Let's connect them. Now I want to apply this sequence to people who visited the shop now block. So let's get into shop now and add a plugin here add to sequence. Drag the sequence at the top and from subscribe to I will choose shop follow up. This is how you set up a sequence. Guys, this was a simple example of a follow-up message. The potential they offer is huge. You can increase your conversions significantly. This will be all for today. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more amazing digital marketing videos. Bye for now. I will see you guys soon. There's no doubt that Facebook is this incredible platform and everybody wants to take advantage of this to grow their business. Unfortunately, Facebook has made it so tough to market your business organically or for free. And because of this reason, I wanted to make a video so that I can share with you five super effective Facebook marketing hacks that can totally do it for you.